There's a place on Earth where the clock is unstable, where the camera flash is reflected from the void, and the sound of an approaching car is heard in the forest. No, it's not Hawkins from Stranger Things or Area 51. This is a real point on the map called the M Triangle. And if you believe the rumors, this is where time sometimes changes course. Of course, all these are just local legends, stories written in local newspapers, tales from indigenous people who believe in all this. There might be some truth in these stories, but just like with any mysterious place, you have to decide for yourself what is true and what is not. So, welcome to the village of Molepka. It looks like an ordinary village, wooden houses, cows, hard-working people, a statue of a visitor from another planet, beautiful nature, and… wait, what? A visitor from another planet? Oh yeah, just look at how sinister and cute it is at the same time. It stands here for a reason. The village is like a local landmark. But how did it happen? When did it all start? Well, back in the nostalgic 80s, one geologist went hunting and suddenly saw a huge glowing sphere flying over the forest. When he got closer to the spot where the sphere was flying, he saw a large circular footprint in the snow, as if a giant plate had been lying there. The geologist assumed that it was a spaceship of another civilization and told the locals about it. But they weren't surprised. They said it was a common thing for them to see weird things in this place. In addition, a local named Pavel said that in the summer of 1980, he saw something big fall from the sky directly into a pond, triggering high waves. In newspapers, journalists and locals publish stories about their contacts with representatives of other civilizations. And these publications caused a great response. Many tourists, scientists, and fans of anomalies, also pronounced as fans of anomalies, began arriving at Malebka. The locals were apparently so impressed by such popularity that they created a monument dedicated to a space guy and gave him the name Al Yushenka. Or maybe it was Al Yoshenka, who knows? And the place itself was named the M Triangle, which means an anomalous triangle in Molebka. The peak of the village's popularity occurred in the late 80s and early 90s, and it was then that the largest number of reports about mysterious phenomena appeared. But according to some sources, there are records dating back to the 18th century that tell of unexplained phenomena in this region. However, space visitors are not the only strange thing. As soon as you come to the village, you'll hear stories about miraculous healings, sound hallucinations, bizarre silhouettes in the dark, temporary anomalies, Bigfoot, and much more. It's like Area 51, but in a distant snowy forest. Many scientists don't believe these stories. Maybe there's just some kind of strong magnetic field or something. No, according to scientists, the magnetic field in this region is pretty normal. But there are many reports that people feel much better when they come to Malebka. They calm down, their anxiety disappears, and they feel more energetic. People also say there are health fields of different strengths around this place. It kind of sounds like a paranormal health spa. Of course, the locals are happy that so much attention is paid to their land, because, well, come on, this helps them to make money. They take tours to the most unusual places, and they probably sell different goods and souvenirs. One of the residents, nicknamed Stalker, gives tours of the paranormal spots. He says he once filmed a strange orange object in the sky back in 1995 near the village. The owner of a grocery store likes to talk about how she was cured of a serious illness, thanks to a 100-year-old pine tree. According to the woman, she couldn't walk, her arms and legs didn't work, and her memory was poor. Other villagers brought her to the old tree, and she recovered. Almost all the residents of Molebka tell similar stories about mysterious healing places and unexplained objects in the sky. Well. The more tourists the village attracted, the stranger the stories became. At some point, eyewitnesses began to talk about seeing something that looked like a Bigfoot. Yeah, what's next? The Loch Ness Monster? Godzilla? Well, if you live in an area where people are constantly talking about strange things, you can start believing them yourself. And don't forget, this place is really atmospheric. It's a cold forest, far from big cities. 
there's a charming nature, and the internet is probably not working so well. So, it's the perfect place for your mind to start making up new fantastic stories. But is it really all fiction? It can't be determined. Many people have really felt strange and unusual sensations here. Others talked about how poorly the clock worked there. One group of tourists walked into a certain area, and their watches started acting weird. Each person saw a different time. One researcher put his watch in a tightly sealed thermos and placed it in an abnormal area. He returned and picked it up about 5 hours and 26 minutes later. Then he compared the result with the local time, and it turned out that his watch was 5 hours and 26 minutes behind. Was it a temporary anomaly? Or did the clock mechanism just stop working? Or was this story made up? What about auditory hallucinations? A group of tourists said that when they had been walking through the forest, they heard a car following them. The sound of an engine and moving wheels could be heard behind them, but when they looked around, there was nothing. One minute, the hum was in the distance. Then it felt like the car was nearby. The tourists set up camp, and it seemed to them that the vehicle had driven into the clearing. But the nearest road was far away, and people walked along narrow paths through the forest. What if the car really was there, just at a different time? Or maybe the car was driving on the road, but its sound somehow got teleported into the forest where the tourists were walking. Hmm. There were also odd reports of objects heating up mysteriously. Someone said that the temperature of a lying stone or a fallen tree suddenly started rising. Others claimed that objects just rose into the air and hung there for a while. But these stories were obviously made up. In addition, there were classic reports of unstable batteries and accumulators that quickly discharged in abnormal areas. People also reported getting lost in places where they couldn't get lost. They circled in one place for hours, as if inside a vicious circle, and then the anomaly released them, and people found themselves very close to a road or a river. Some researchers noticed a weird phenomenon while taking photos at night. In one picture, the flashlight reflected off an empty space, as if an invisible object was there. Perhaps they just wanted to see something strange and convinced themselves that it was an anomaly. Now, don't forget that people can deliberately invent all sorts of stories to attract more tourists and attention. Several times, scientists proved that some of those stories had been made up. But what about the past? What was there before the village? Some rumors say that, in ancient times, the territory of the M Triangle was a holy place for indigenous people. They came here to perform terrible rituals next to a large prayer stone. Perhaps the negative energy of those events still somehow affects this region. But if they really performed some scary ritual here, people would feel anxious, dizzy, and exhausted. But they feel the opposite. Tourists report on the healing power of this place and its positive energy. Even if you don't see anything strange here, you will surely enjoy the beautiful nature and get a boost of cheerfulness. Plus, imagine how awesome it would be to tell spooky stories around a campfire in this place. Oh yeah! That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.